please join me in prayers of the people. Prayers of gratitude and joy for Gail's recovery. May we continue to pray for her and may we continue to celebrate the miracle of her recovery. Prayers of gratitude for Reverend Charles Tinsley that he has survived walking with a walker and working hard at his therapy. He is coming back. He remembers being close to death and we are grateful for his recovery. Prayers for Bob Silver's mother-in-law, Messiah, who at 92 has been hospitalized with pneumonia. Prayers for Genevieve and Don who are recovering from COVID-19. Prayers for Pastor Jean, Jim's sister, Jeannie, who is struggling with congestive heart failure. Prayers of gratitude and joy for Maggie Chen, who has accepted a job as case manager at St. Francis Hospital, which will begin in March. And prayers of gratitude that she will continue to conduct COVID-19 testing until then. Prayers of gratitude and joy for Becca Rabin, who has gotten a job uh, at San Francisco Environment. Prayers for Tim Chuck and his family. Prayers for Harvey, who has had a setback on his recovery. Prayers of gratitude and joy for how well Marius is doing but prayers as he recovers from a couple of procedures he had this last week. Prayers of gratitude and joy that my thyroid biopsy did not show any cancer. Prayers of gratitude and joy for Sydney Lou's recovery from COVID-19. Prayers for the family and friends of Cameron who at 23 passed away from a second bout of cancer. And yes, Cameron was named after Donald Dina Cameron. Prayers for Dave's friend, Eddie, from the SFPD for medical treatment and healing of job-related injuries sustained in July. Prayers for Greg's friend and coworker, Jerry Logos, who was in the hospital for COVID-19 and for chemotherapy of cancer. Prayers for Maury Hoopert, Anne and Jerry Jane's daughter-in-law's father, who is 90 years old and is in much pain after a recent fall. We hope he is recuperating well. For Juliette Liu, who is studying for the California nursing exam. For Dar's friend, Terry Leong, who transitioned to be with our father after a battle with the COVID-19 virus. Prayers for Jennifer Lee's uncle, Loy Chu, who at 90 years old continues to struggle and prayers for his family. And prayers of gratitude and joy for the love and support that we in the Covenant Church family share with one another. Let us pray. Hear our prayers, O gracious and merciful God, Hear our prayers of gratitude and thanksgiving that those people may be filled with joy. Hear our prayers of intercession for those who are sick, that they may be brought in your care. Hear those prayers that are too deep or too close to mention, for we know, you know, our prayers before we are conscious of them. Amen. In his Sermon on the Mountainside overlooking the Sea of Galilee, Jesus instructed his followers, whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray for your, to your Father who is in secret and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And so let us join together in saying the prayer that he taught his disciples. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We proclaim Jesus Christ with our mouths, in our actions, and through our lives. Let us offer up our lives to Christ, that our lives, in our lives we may be servants of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, all that we have is yours, and all that we are is yours. Sorry. In offering these tokens of our lives, may all that we do serve you in the glory of God. Amen. Now we'll sing together Jesus on the Mountain Peak. <laughs> 